Hi everybody, this is Big Tony Ragu. We're here at Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu over at the Long Beach Street Festival. We're going to be talking to the owner of the sweet truck, Molly Taylor. And we're going to be sharing a little bit some good news that I found out recently. Molly, share some good news with us today. Hey, what's up? This is Molly from the Sweets Truck. And we're really proud to announce that we have been nominated as a top five city business for Philanthropic Small Business of the Year for the Classy Awards out of San Diego, which have just gone national this year. So we're really excited and we need your vote so that our win can help support our partner charities. You guys heard this live here on Big Tony's uh, Food Adventures. So make sure that you vote for the Sweet Truck. That's Give right. them your love, show them your love when you see them on the streets or at the festival. Molly serves some great sweet treats. And Molly's gonna talk a little bit about some menu items today that she's changing her menu for the winter. Why don't you talk about that totally. a little bit? Totally. Today we featured Cake Monkey Bakery and we had their famous cake witches, which are an absolute favorite on the truck. We also had Yoho's as well as Little Mary cookie sandwiches, which are oatmeal cookie sandwiches. And in between is a maple vanilla cream. It's absolutely out of this world. Everything flew off the shelf today. It was really popular, so next time we'll have to include more. I've had them before and I can tell you they're awesome. They are our favorite of yours, I know that. That's right. <laughs> when I can find them. That's right. So uh, tell me a little bit, you know, we talked about your menu item, you know, and obviously we know you serve great product out there. So tell people how they can find you in the social media sector, you know, as far as where can they get you out there? How do they know Absolutely. what's Absolutely. We are at thesweetstruck.com. We're also at twitter.com slash thesweetstruck. And we are also on Facebook at facebook.com slash thesweetstruck, which is our friend page. And you can also fan us as well off of Facebook. Well, very cool, Molly. Thanks for sharing that information with everybody. Um, in closing, let me ask you, you're here at the Street Festival here. I know this is the second time both you and I have been here. That's right. And let me ask you, if you had to sum up this one, what would be the one word to sum it up as far as the experience today? Awesome. We love the Long Beach Street Food Festival. It's for a great cause. It's an amazing venue. The people here are so appreciative to have the trucks. So it's one of our favorite festivals. It's our pleasure to be here, and thanks for having us. It's really great. Well, Molly, thanks for sharing everything today from your food to the uh, new concepts that are coming out on your menu, as well as the uh, great award that's coming up. I hope you do win that. Thank Definitely you. deserving of it. Um, and I appreciate just uh, just the overall customer service that I see that you give the customers and the line definitely shows that reflects that. Thank you so much. Well, thanks very much for sharing with uh, Big Tony Ragu at the Food Adventures of uh, Big Tony Ragu. Okay. And we're here at Long Beach Street Festival here live with Molly from the Sweet Trust. Big yeah. Tony Ragu. We're here at Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu. We're here at the Long Beach Street Food Fest today. And we're actually with the uh, famous Don Chow Truck. And you know, those of you who know the Don Chow Truck, you know the quality of food I'm talking about. They do a little twist on Chinese to uh, Mexican. And we're gonna talk with one of the owners, Dominic. He's gonna talk a little bit about today's food. How are you doing today, Dominic? Good, Tony, thank you. Hey, buddy, tell me uh, a little bit about uh, the signature item that you're holding today um, in regards to the food festival. You got it, so, so for today, the Long Beach Food Fest, uh, we're bringing out our Chinese barbecue pork chimale. Uh, this is our Chino Meats Latino. It's our Chinese barbecue pork stuffed inside of a tamale. So if you get a Chinese tamale, you get our chimale. Uh, what we have is a very traditional masa uh, inside we stuff it with our signature Chinese barbecue pork and steam it to perfection. This is what we have today. Awesome. I've had it before and uh, obviously different uh, meats and flavors. Awesome product. Anyone who's never had it before definitely come out and uh, talk to the Don Chow guys. They'll serve up a great uh, menu for you. So tell me a little bit about, you know, when you talk about uh, people trying to find you, you know, the social media, uh, what would be uh, different ways people can find you in social media? There's always our website, which is www.donchowtacos.com. If you're into the more uh, popular social media, there's Facebook at facebook.com slash donchowtacos. And of course on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash donchowtacos. Twitter and Facebook have our most updated locations. So if there's ever any parking issues, uh, change in plans due to weather, road construction, you can always find the most up-to-date information on Facebook or Twitter. Right, and I know you guys tweet a lot to your fans out there as far as keeping them up to date on that, which I think is great to customer service. Thank you. Um, let me ask you in closing, you know, you're here at the Long Beach Street Festival, it's a great park area here, you got great weather, great customers, good food, the nice smells coming out. Um, if you had to sum up today in one word, what would it be? One word is tough. How about, um, how about mind blowing? Let's go with two, mind blowing. I like that, that's cool. Well, this is Big Tony Ragu. We're here live at the Long Beach Street Food Festival talking with Dominic, one of the co-owners of Don Chow Tacos. And we're debuting the Chamali. Excellent product. If you guys don't know about them, 
Get on Twitter, get on the website, look them up. So, Big Tony Ragu. This is Big Tony Ragu here. Uh, we're actually in the back of the uh, grilled cheese truck. We're talking with uh, the two owners. We're talking with uh, Dave uh, Danhai, and we're also talking with Michelle Brand here on the right. And we're going to talk a little bit uh, today. We're here at the uh, Long Beach Street Festival. So, how's it been today for you guys? Oh, gosh. Awesome. It's been awesome. great. We, it's we, awesome. Coming into the LBC, we get greeted with huge open arms, and we love coming down here. We love it here, and we'd love to be here more. We're working on it. Well, I gotta tell you, I'm looking at this line that looks like an easy two-hour line out there. That must make you happy to see how many folks are out here following you today. It's a bittersweet thing. We like to have a line that's closer to half an hour as opposed to the two hours, but right. they, they wait and we, we have enough staff on there to try and get it done as quick as possible. Yeah, and you know, we're just so grateful that people are, are willing to stand in the line and, and love our food that much. To us, that's, that's the biggest payoff every single day. Well, if you had to sum it up right now in one word about the festival, what would you say? Amazing. Awesome. Incredible. Absolutely. All right, well, this is Big Tony Ragu with the Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu here with the grilled cheese truck. And we're coming at you live here at the Long Beach Street Food Festival here on Saturday. Go food trucks. Hey, this is Big Tony Ragu over here at Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu. We're here at the Long Beach Food Festival today on Saturday. We're going to be talking with Rob Greer over here at the Munchie Machine. How you doing, Rob? What's going on, buddy? Hey, Big Tony. How are you today? Good, good. Um, let me ask you, Rob, uh, you know, when you talk about your menu items and such, you know, today at the festival, what are you uh, highlighting today? What's your signature items? Well, today I brought with me my award-winning Scooby snack here, as you can see. It's a peanut butter and jelly s'more sandwich. Uh, at the Street Food Festival at the Rose Bowl in July, I won the uh, Best Dessert Award for my Scooby Snack, and uh, Mayor Antonio Villagrosa claimed it was to die for, which was really, really cool. Very cool. What's the second item you got there, buddy? And I also brought with me today my uh, my coconut s'mores. Cornelli Weekly, I have the third ranked s'mores in all of Los Angeles. So I've got these uh, gourmet flavored infused marshmallows. I don't know if you can see, but a little bit of toasted coconut kind of hanging out there. Yep. So these are toasted coconut s'mores. We've had them before and we know they're excellent. They are. I break out my torch and bring the campfire to you type of thing. That's cool. So Robbie, closing out, if people want to find you, how do they, for the uh, social media sector, how would people find you in the social media sector? Well, our website is themunchymachine.com and uh, there you'll have links to our Twitter, which is at munchymachine1 on Twitter. And then on Facebook, we are The Munchy Machine, all one word. Well, Rob, I want to thank you very much for sharing a little bit about your menu items today here at Long Beach Food Festival. And if you had to sum up the experience today at Long Beach Food Festival, what would it be? I would just say spectacular. Well, thanks, Rob, and I uh, appreciate you sharing everything with the people today. Again, if you guys have not been out to the uh, Munchy Machine, come and introduce yourself to Rob. Tell him Big Tony Ragu sent you over, and he'll definitely hook you up with some great snacks and uh, little foods out there that he makes. Uh, some of them from scratch, but definitely excellent on the menu items. Thanks for sharing, Rob. This is Thank Big Tony you. Ragu over at Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu. Hi, this is Big Tony Ragu, and it's Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu. We're here at the Long Beach Street Food Festival here in the wonderful uh, Rainbow Park over here. And we're going to talk with Debbie Lee, the owner of the Agile truck, uh, basically a Korean, uh, what do you want to call it, a Korean uh, um, bar <laughs> on wheels. Uh, excellent food, been here numerous times. And if uh, those of you who don't remember, uh, Debbie Lee was actually on season five, five yep. of uh, Food Network's ne Next Network Star. So she's cooking up some great grub today. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're cooking today? So today to celebrate Oktoberfest here at the Long Beach Street Food Fest, I thought it was only celebratory as a Korean to make it all about the pork belly today. So during the fall at the bars, we like to do something a little spicy hearty and what we like to do is stir fry kimchi and pork belly. So I've made my own kimchi like I always do. I um, marinated my pork belly in some soy and marin, twice fried it of course, because I got to keep that southern part of me, right? Yes. And I sauteed it all together, added some Korean peppers and a splash of um, some more kimchi chili juice. So it's good stuff, really well, good stuff, especially with the beer. Absolutely, I tell you, I'm zoning in on that right now and I've had your kimchi, which by the way guys, she makes the best kimchi I've had so far. Thank you, Tony. And all the food on the truck, on the menu items that, she, that we've tried, actually, is excellent. So let me ask you, here here at Long Beach Street Festival, um, if you had to sum up the day right now, what would you say? It's a beautiful day, and it's all about the fall. So I love the fall right now, the weather, and it's a great time because it's perfect weather, so more to eat. You know, that's how I figure it. Very cool. Well, we thank Debbie Lee for uh, sharing a little bit about the food at the festival here at the Long Beach Street Festival. 
Again, this is Big Tony Ragu from Food Adventures of Big Tony Ragu. We're here live talking with Debbie Lee, and we thank her very much for sharing a little bit about her food and her menu. Thanks, Tony.